Hello students, myself is Gurmeet Singh and today in this lecture we will discuss a very important theorem on Riemann integrability and that is every continuous function is Riemann integral. So let us prove. First of all, let f of x be a continuous function defined on the interval e. Now f of x is a continuous function defined on the interval e. If this function is continuous on closed interval and we know that every continuous function on closed interval is bounded and it is uniformly continuous. So therefore we can say that f of x is bounded and uniformly continuous uniformly continuous on A. Then the interval A. If this function is uniformly continuous, then by the definition, therefore, for epsilon greater than zero, however small, there exists some delta greater than zero such that f of p1 minus f of p2 modulus is less than a epsilon over b minus a and it is true for all p1 and p1 minus p2 is less than delta whereas t1 and t2 belongs to the interval AB. So this is the definition of uniform continuity. So this definition no apply to uh, Riemann integrability group. So for that we have to prove UPF minus LPF is less than epsilon for some partition P of AB. So let P be the partition P that is A, X0, X1 and so on, Xi minus 1, that is Xi and Xn equals to B be the partition of AB such that norm of this partition is less than delta. Norm of the partition is less than delta. Now, since f of x is continuous, uh, uniformly continuous on AB, since f of x is uniformly continuous on a b so definitely it is also uniformly continuous on this sub interval so therefore uh, we can say that since f is uniformly continuous continuous on a b so therefore, it is continuous, it is uniformly continuous on the subinterval xi minus 1 to xi. So as above, so now we will define small mi. What is small mi? That is greatest lower bound of f of x within the interval xi minus 1 to xi. What is 
MI that is greatest lower bound. So greatest lower bound definitely in which car is in a kisi point the he hoega and I don't know anything about that point. So say that is F of CI whereas CI belongs to this interval. And what about capital MI that is the least upper bound of F of X? Within interval, general interval, xi minus 1 to xi. And I also don't know what is this. So that is say f of di. One thing is confirmed ci and di. Whereas ci and di belongs to the interval xi minus 1 to xi. Now, mi minus m i we have to look at m i minus capital m i minus small m i what is this this is nothing but f of d i minus f of c i c i to see girl f of d i minus f of c i by using this result We can say that, listen, f of t i minus f of t1 minus f of t2 is less than epsilon over b minus a. Agar a is a t1 and t2 is true, it is a b to belong to a b. Because a b to a function is uniformly continuous. So, we have to say that the function is uniformly continuous. Agar t1 and t2 is a condition hold to a b. तो CI के DI भी का A A सेंटर पर नो बिलाऊं कर दिया है इन्हा दिन भी तो एक कंडीशन ट्रू कर होनी चाहिए थी है बिकॉज़ इट दिस फंक्शन इज़ आल्सो यूनिफॉर्मली कंटिन्यूज़ ऑन दिस इंटरवल्स सो देवरफॉर वी कैन से दैट दिस MI माइनस स्मॉल MI दिस इज़ इक्वल टू F of DI F of CI एंड this is less than this is less than also less than epsilon over b minus a epsilon over b minus a modulus which you will see capital m i already greater than hai so there is no use and other which you can also call it sakta but jama but ni so there it is now we have to prove that the function is we have to prove that function is a Riemann integrable. So Riemann integrability is a necessary condition. The sufficient condition here UPF minus LPF less than epsilon. So one said UPF minus LPF. And what is this? That is summation that can be written as summation mi minus small mi delta upon a common level i running from 1 to n and this value is less than epsilon over b minus a so therefore this can be written as there is summation i running from 1 to n what is this epsilon over b minus a delta i so it is independent of i so in a collection there this is epsilon over b minus a uh, summation delta i and what about summation delta i where as i running from 1 to n so a is a lot of work in previous theorems a is a lot of partition a is a lot of partition a is a lot of length cut to the sum of 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 the this can be written as epsilon over b minus a into b minus a and this is cancelled out which means UBF minus LPF is less than epsilon and so therefore F is Riemann integrable over the interval so simple hai, there is nothing so appendix is the we function uniformly continuous con, uh, sorry unit con, we function continuous in the closed interval the upper jigger closed interval the upper continuous hai so bounded bhi hoega so uniformly continuous bhi hoega so this is the definition of uniform continuity so it's a pejuri epsilon over b basically generally definition the which of epsilon equal me 
b minus a upon the which लिखने का reason सुधा जा a है तो हम दिख रहे हैं क्योंकि मैं इन विधि नार्ड कैंसल आउट कर सकता देर इस बात ठीक है तो अब क्या सर जस्ट small m i अपने define की था capital m i define कर लिया उस तो बाद definition लगाने तो बाद uniform convergence की definition तो बाद आप लिख सकते हैं सम ऑफ capital m i जस्ट small m i का difference will be less than b minus a इन वो पहले देखिए यूज़ कर लिया तो दैट्स इट सो देर फॉर यूपीए माइनस एलपीए इस लेस देन अब्साइन तो हेंस वी कैन से दैट एवरी कंडीशनल फंक्शन इज़ रीमन इंटीग्रेट थैंक यू वेरी मच